today we're going to coral count by one eighth. What are we going to coral count by? One eighth. All right, so you can just put your pencils and your papers down for right now. And then we'll come back to it. One eighth. What's next? Two eighths. Don't count faster than I can write. Five eighths. Okay, go ahead. Six eighths. Seven eighths. Nine eighths. Eight eighths. What comes after seven eighths? Eight eighths. Eight eighths. Nine eighths. Ten eighths. Try saying it that way. They all have an eight in the denominator. They all have an eight in the denominator. You try it now. Because it's one eighth, and if we add another one eighth, we'll have two eighths. And if we add another one eighth, we'll have three. Eighths. And if we add another one eighth, we'll have four eighths. Four eighths. Nice. What else do we notice? I heard you talking about it. Oh, I, mm -hmm. like, it's like going with three, three six, nine, twelve. Like you can see, like from the threes. Okay. Three, three, six. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure. Three eights. Yeah. Three, three eights. eights. Mm -hmm. Six eights. Nine eights. Twelve eights. That's all. No Three. I see three, six, nine. It's going like a diagonal, but then that one's way over there. Is there something? Yeah, I was thinking okay. like if you put a teeny, it would make more sense. Three eights, six eights, nine eights, twelve eights. Um, yeah. Do you want to think about it? Okay, I'm not saying you're wrong. I was just trying to make sure I understand. Yeah. Okay. What else? Um, That's okay. You can think about it. I heard other ideas out there. Please hmm. uh, share. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 
So four in the numerator. So four eighths, eight eighths, 12 eighths, six eighths. So 16 eighths, so what are you noticing? Four holes or? So if I start at four eighths and I go down to eight eighths, how much am I adding? Four eighths. And if I go from eight eighths to 12 eighths, how much am I adding? And from 12 eighths to 16 eighths? Do you guys agree? Yes. So turn and tell the person next to you what number would go in the box. Mm -hmm. All right, are we ready? So who wants to share out? Who thinks they know what would go in this box here? Both of you, 28? 28. Do you guys agree? Let's count on. 17 eighths, what would come next? 18 eighths. Keep going. 19 eighths. Does that work? Yes. Nice work. All right. Um, let's go back to this idea where you said that the denominator has eight. All of the denominators have eight. Why do all of the denominators have eight? We're counting by eight. We're counting by eight. We're counting by, counting by one eighths, by eighths, by eight. how many equal parts? Eight. Are we adding seven equal parts or eight equal parts? Eight. Eight equal parts. So, how many equal parts do I need to divide the whole into? Eight. Eight. Do you agree? Yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Do you agree? Okay. And how big is this piece? One eighth. One eighth. If I put these two pieces together, if I put these two pieces together, one eighth and one eighth, how much is that? Two eighths. Two eighths. I saw a little confusion about that on the classwork. And if I add another one eighth, how much is that? Three eighths. Three eighths and another one? Four eighths. And another one? Five eighths. And another one? Six eighths. And another one? Seven eighths. And another one? Nine eighths. Eight eighths. Eight eighths. Eight eighths. What comes after seven? Eight. Eight eighths. Nice. And does that work for this one also? Yes. How many equal parts? Eight. Eight equal parts. And how big is each of those parts? One eighth. One eighth. And if I put all of these eighths together, how many do I have? One If I put all of these together, how much do I have? One whole. One whole. And if I put all of these eighths together with these, how many will I have? Two holes all together. Nice. And if I added on some more? Three holes. Three holes. All right, I have some questions for you. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. How much is one hole? One hole. Uh, um, one eighth. One eighth. That's a hole? No. no eight eighths. How much is one hole? Eight eighths. So do you guys agree that eight eighths is equivalent to one hole? Yes. It's the same as one hole? Yes. Are you positive? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to write underneath. Um, eight eighths, I'm going to write one hole or one. Does that work? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, do I have more than one hole? Yes. Yes. Where is it? 16, 16, 20, 16, 16 eighths. 16 eighths? Yes. So how much would this be altogether? Two holes. Two holes. You sure? Yes. Okay. So this is two holes and that's one hole? So I want you to think on this one. Where's a half? Turn and tell the person next to you. Where's a half? Where's a half? Where's a half? Where's a half? 
Well, actually, no. I think both of them are halves, but like, we split it and it looked like halves. Like, where is the half? Where would you split it? Like, I was really like, right here. Like, I was really like, right here. Alright, and five, four, three, two, one. If eight eighths is a whole, do you guys agree this is a whole? Yes. Then where would a half be? At the top. Four eight. Two eight. Four eight. Four eight. Two eight. Is this half? No. No. Would two eights be half? No. I, I heard it, so I just want to check. No. no. What would be half? Four eight. Four eight. Four eight. Four eights would be half. Yes. Turn and talk. Are you sure? Four eight would be half. Yes. 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 And five, four, four three, two, one. So what do you think? I think four eight. Would four eight be half? Yeah. Yep. If I shade that in, is that half of that whole? Yes. Yeah. So four eighths is the same as one, one half. half. Or you could do it the other way, like where Hold you on a second. Let's stay with this idea for just a minute. Is four eighths one half? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so over here, I'm just gonna write. Let me use a different color. I'm gonna write one half. Four eighths is the same as one half. Yeah. You sure? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're saying I could do it another way? Yeah, like. You already stood up. I know. Right here. Like, this way? No, like, still on the top, right? Mm -hmm. You could do one eighth down, like, uh -huh. one eighth down from the other one, like, on two, and then it would still be half. So you're yeah. saying if I shaded it in this way, would that yeah. be half? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Is that still four eighths? Yes. So four eighths is half. Yes. Okay. So four eighths is half. Eight eighths is a whole. Where's oh, one and a half? Turn and talk. Where would one whole and a half be? One whole and a half would be twelve eighths. Yeah, twelve eighths. Yeah, would twelve eighths because there would be twelve eighths. All right, you ready? And five, four, three. Two, one. What do you think? Where would one whole and a half be? Twelve, twelve, eight, twelve, twelve, eight. twelve, eight. twelve eight. So this is how many eights altogether? Four eights. Eight eights. Eight eights. So this would be two eights. Nine eights. Nine eights. If this is eight, what comes after eight? Nine, Nine eights. And if I add another one? Ten, Ten eights. Eight. And if I add another one? Eight. And if I add another one? Twelve, twelve eights. Eight. So is twelve eights the same as one and a half? Yes. yes. No, why not? So is this a whole? Yes. And how much is this one? Half. I'm talking to her. If we just fill in that part. That'd be half of the paper. Half of the paper. So if I wanted to show a whole and a half, how would I do that? Is this a whole? Yes. So then would I have to shade in the whole thing? If I shaded in this whole thing, would that be a whole? Yes. And then if I shaded in four more eighths, would that be a, another half? So if I have eight eighths plus four eighths, is that 12 eighths? Eight yes. eighths, nine to nine twelve. And would that be one whole and one half? Yes. So then we can label this. If this is a half and that's a whole, then this would be one and a half. Do you agree? Yes.